Hey my loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. Okay, one thing that I am beyond excited for now that I'm back from traveling is to start to shop for fall. And let me tell you, when I put on that first sweater or that first pair of booties, ooh, I just feel so at home and so in my element. So for today's video, we're going to be doing an Aritzia haul. Share with you all the first of many Aritzia hauls to come for the fall season. Getting ready to revamp my wardrobe. I am looking forward to it. So let's get into it because I got tons of tops, coats, jackets, and bottoms. And oh, I think I found my new favorite pair of jeans ever. But before we get started, if you are new here, my name is Krista Burnside and I post tons of hauls, vlogs, and lifestyle content. So if you like the vibe here, definitely subscribe so you never miss a video from me. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this haul. Let's start with a couple of basics that I picked up. Aritzia has my favorite basics ever. There's like hundreds of different styles and combinations of long sleeve, short sleeve, cropped, not cropped, like to choose from. It's seriously the best. And so the first one that I got is called the Forecast T-shirt. This only comes in two colors, this matte pearl color and also black. And I'm really hoping that they come out with this in more colors because this is such a great base for the fall in the winter time. Use it as a base layer in order to like layer over top of it, but also just to wear this on its own. I love how I paired this for the try on, putting the jacket that you'll see later on paired with some high rise jeans. Love the look. Simple, minimalist, like completely up my alley. But more details on the shirt. I got a size extra extra small and it is this really soft cotton jersey fabric, like so soft. It's also really stretchy too. If you don't want it as tight and form-fitting as it is on me. Definitely size up, but the length is fantastic. It's a little bit longer. It's great for tucking. The color of this is so neutral tone. It's going to pair with everything, and this is just going to be a really great item for me to wear into the office. I've been trying to get more pieces that I can wear into the office for like my office days. Another really great one is this long sleeve, and it's in like this heathered birch sort of a color. This one is also a cotton jersey, but it is brushed, so it has like a slightly different texture texture, just as soft, still really stretchy. Crew neck hemline, but also I love that it has a raw hem. Another really easy tee to tuck in. The sleeves are a tad long, but a fun thing about this is that it does have like a thumb hole in it, but also with a raw hem. So it's a nice little touch. This is meant to be slim fit and a little bit tight too, but yeah, another really great base layer and basic for the season. Starting to pick up the sweaters. Aritzia sweaters are so good. I love like just all of the different styles that they have, but this sweater, I love it, I love it, I love it. It is an extra fine wool fabric and the cable stitching, are you kidding? It's incredible, love the ribbed neckline and also the cuffs. The sleeves are the perfect length and then the length of it is also the perfect length. It's kind of on the crop side. It brushes right against your high-waisted jeans. This is a great option for someone that wants a sweater but doesn't want it too like big and bulky and oversized. Still appropriate for me to wear into the office. I got in a size extra extra small if you wanted it to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more oversized, maybe a little bit longer, definitely size up in this. Also on the cable stitching, it like puffs out a little bit. So it kind of gives like this three dimensional look to it. I think it's a really cool vibe. It's a good start to the sweaters and I'm so excited to see all the other sweaters that Aritzia comes out with as we get further into the season. Moving into a couple of jackets, I got some jackets that are gonna be great options for the fall time, but then I also got two jackets that are gonna be great for like the late fall heading into the winter time but let's start with the fall jackets first. I am obsessed with this jacket. It comes in three colors total and I'm kind of thinking about going back and getting it in the taupe color, but I just, I need more jackets just like this. It's for those times that you need a jacket, but you also don't want a jacket. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my mind. What comes to mind is like those times that you're in the office, it's kind of cold because now we're just getting into the colder months or maybe you still have AC in your office, but it's cold outside, but you don't want to wear your outfit outside jacket inside during the day. So you want like another like layer over top of it that's still cute, but not like an outside sort of vibe. You get me, you get me? This is made with Aritzia's, I think crepette fabric. It has like a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of weight, but still lightweight. Incredible quality. This is fully lined in the interior. The sleeves are a little bit long, so I'm gonna have to get them hemmed up just a little bit. But the jacket is a kind of like utility style. It has two front pockets, but then also 
bow epaulets on the shoulder here with like little button details. Oh, it's so good. I got this in a size extra, extra small. This one, this one, this one is a vibe. It is a like wool, really soft wool bomber jacket, but one that's like a little bit more elevated. You can't really tell the full bomber vibe because the details of like the waistbands and also the cuffs are a little bit hidden. And what do I mean by that is right here. You can see on the outside, you can't see like the classic ribbing detail that makes the bomber jacket. It's actually hidden in the inside and same with the waistband. It is in the inside, but not on the outside. Pretty cool. This is also fully lined in the interior. It feels substantial and it also just hits the mark for a minimalist like me. It's just so easy to style. It comes in this gorgeous color, but then also kind of like a medium gray color too. The length of it hits at a perfect spot, especially for a petite like me. Oh, the design of this is just very, very on point. <laughs> Okay, so like what's an Aritzia haul of mine without at least mentioning one super puff jacket? I have a problem. That's okay. So the quick spiel, because if you've been around my channel for a while, you know my thoughts about the super puff. They're incredible. They're wonderful. It is water repellent, wind resistant. They're machine washable. It has a removable hood, but also the hood size, the hood size, you get me if you get me, is like the perfect size. It doesn't like fall into your face. These are engineered to deliver warmth up to negative four degrees at Fahrenheit. They will keep you toasty warm, but it also doesn't overdo it. Like right now I'm starting to bust out like my super puff shorty because it's raining and I'm not like dying of heat going into the office. It's also around like 60 degrees right now in Seattle. So it can withstand even a little bit warmer temperatures, but they are incredible at keeping you warm and like the freezing cold temperatures too. They also come in a few different lengths. They have a shorty option, a regular length. I think they have a mid and then a long too. So this is the shorty. The shorty is my favorite, but why I got another black one is because I like that this is the insulated puffer jacket, but I don't know if you can see, you can't really tell that it's puffed. My other puffer jackets have like seams going down that separates the puff inside. It's still separated inside, but it has this outer layer that is more smooth too. So I really liked the vibe of this one. So I decided to pick it up and I got black because the black jackets are just typically my go-to, but this also comes in like, I don't know, 10 other colors. My mission, my mission, I had a mission to find the perfect black wool coat for the fall time and I've already reached my goal. I found it. Last season, I got a few wool jackets from Aritzia. It's the style, the only mid or something like that, but the black has always been out of stock. I've never been able to get my hands on it and I've always been very into the slouch coat. That's what this is right here, but it typically comes very long and for someone petite like me It's just too long for my frame and given that the slouch coat is also just naturally Oversized it gives that oversized look to it. That's just how it is It was just too overwhelming I guess for my body But they ended up coming out with a slouch coat in a mid length and the mid length is perfection So this is in the size double extra small You can see that it has that relaxed fit that I was talking about during the try on it's double Double breasted. It has pockets on the side that are currently sewn shut. Another quick tip for you guys. These do have pockets. You just have to cut out the sewn part of it. So just a tip for you guys. They're not like faux pockets. Also curious to hear you guys' thought on this. So these jackets typically come with this label right here on the sleeve. I typically cut this off, but tell me what you guys typically do with this if you guys get these jackets. But Aritzia's coats like this are my absolute favorite. Aritzia's the place that I go to get jackets like this. The quality is always there. The style and the fit of it is always on point, but the quality of their wool is like unmatched because wool is typically very itchy for me, but this is not itchy at all. It actually has like a very soft feeling to it. It is fully lined as well. And this also delivers warmth down to, I think 14 degrees Fahrenheit. It has wind protection. So definitely the perfect addition for the fall time. I cannot wait to style this. I cannot wait. This 
also comes in a few other colors. I also picked up a skirt. I have been very much into skirts for the latter half of summer, but definitely want to bring it into fall. Pair it with some thigh-high boots. Oh, the vibe. It's so cute. So this is a high-rise slip skirt. You can see that it has a jawstring detail, so it just like makes it a little bit more casual, but I also love the fabric of this. It is satin with a very soft sheen to it. The fabric of this is not too thin and delicate, which I'm a huge fan of. It's a little bit thicker. I feel like when you get satin skirts like this, it's very thin, but this, you guys, you gotta feel it. It is incredible. And I also really like the length of this and where it hits on me with being petite, being 5'1", it hits mid calf on me. So I just cannot get enough. This also comes in like an off-white color too, but she's cute. Okay, let's get in to the bottom. So let's get into the couple of jeans that I got, but then also a couple of trousers. And I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into my new favorite pair of jeans ever. This is the Farrah jean. It is a wide leg jean that sits up high rise, but also with a slim hip a little bit. What I love about this jean is that it fits my waist and my hips perfectly. Not overly tight. It cinches in more at the waist. Oh my God, so hard to find. So this portion up here is more more form fitting, but as it starts to go down the leg, it gradually starts to flare out. So it doesn't immediately start at the thigh of being wide leg. It starts a little bit lower to create the wide leg. So it still feels a little bit fitted throughout. And I just think that that is so flattering for my shape. It's not a jean that's wide leg and too overwhelming for my frame. It just works. What I love about Aritzia's jeans too, is that they typically come in three inseam options. So they have short, regular, and tall. This this one didn't come in the short option, so I opted obviously just to get it in the regular inseam. You'll see that even pairing it with booties during the try-on, it's a tad long, so I'm gonna have to drop these off and get them hemmed up a little bit. I get them in a size 23 as a reference. That's typically the size I get like in a Goldie jeans too. But this wash, this wash is to die for. I've been really gravitating more towards like the darker washes. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade of blue. This is gonna be really easy to pair with literally anything, but it also comes in I think five Five other washes, I immediately went back and ordered it in two more colors. You know, when you find something you love, you just gotta get it in multiple, multiple colors. I also got the 90s Johnny jeans. So these jeans are meant to be a little bit loose, a little slouchy, oversized, but still has like a straight cut leg. They sit up high rise too, so definitely a jean completely up my alley. It definitely fits well around the waist. I also got these in a size 23, but I think for me, I'm not a fan of of this wash in particular. I don't know what it is about it. It looks kind of like stripey a little bit. I'm very particular about my washes. So I think for me, I need to try it in a different wash to see like how I feel in it. And also like I was mentioning with the last pair, Arisa typically has different inseam lengths for their jeans, but this one didn't have that option. So this just comes in a regular inseam. So of course this is a bit long for me too. And I'm 5'1 again as a reference, but it has a button closure. The last pair had a zip closure, but overall, I mean, this is Aritzia's brand denim, denim forum. I love denim forum. I feel like all of their jeans is really great quality, like non-stretch denim. And they have so many other styles too. Like they have skinny jeans, which of course would be stretchy, mid-rise, low-rise, normal straight leg, cropped, like you name it. They have tons of different styles too. And the last two pairs of pants that I got are the same, just in different colors, but it is the effortless pant. And you guys, I have a love-hate relationship with the effortless pant. I absolutely am a huge fan of the style, but I could just not get my size right. Like I'm very in between sizes. It's like the double zero is way too tight, but then the zero is way too loose. Like what is that? I own double zeros. So I wanted to get the zeros to test them out. The waist is loose. I just can't win, <laughs> but I'm a massive fan of the style. Like I was saying, they are a tailored trouser yet yeah, like a little bit relaxed. I'm also a massive fan of this fabric. It's Aritzia's iconic crepe fabric. This fabric has like a little bit of texture. It has movement as you can see, but then it has like a little bit of weight to it. It just feels very luxe. A fun fact about this fabric is that they actually source it in Japan, but this is a classic style trouser and similar to the jeans. They also have this in different inseam lengths. These two are in the regular
regular inseam length. I actually just reordered this in the shorts. So I'm gonna give that a go. But I am here for these colors. This one is the taupe nomad color, I believe. And this is like their cocoa bean color. The high waistedness of this is great. And I love like the pleating details in the front too. So all around, I think that this is a really great trouser. If you can find your size and your inseam length in it, it's perfection. All right, my loves, that completes the haul. That's everything that I got that I wanted to share with you. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys to shop. My sizes will also be listed down there. Stay tuned for so many more fall hauls to come. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you all again so much for watching. Your love and support mean the world to me. I'll catch you in a few days in my next video. Bye. I love you guys. Mwah.